the world of music was expanding as the 20th century approached. As Mahler, Strauss, Dvorak, and Verdi were contributing in their own ways to this expansion, a young French composer, Claude Debussy, was trying to find his own identity. Debussy came to Paris to study music at age 11. His arrogance annoyed fellow students. His stubborn resistance to traditional training antagonized teachers. Like many young musicians, Debussy looked upon Wagner as a hero and made two pilgrimages to Wagner's theater at Bayreuth. But in his late twenties, Debussy renounced Wagner and began to follow a path more in keeping with the French emphasis on sound itself, a path far removed from the Austro-German tradition. From the late 1700s on, German music was dominated by the principle of tonality. Every theme, every phrase, every note was related to a particular tonic note. Tonal relationships, as in the tonal contrast between the two themes in Sonata Allegro form, were basic to the music of the classical period, the time of Haydn and Mozart. <laughs> 